you know, so it kind of if you think of if you think of uh, religion as mythology, you know, like you know um, the mythology of aliens or the mythology of ghosts that has interest to me before. You know, and I grew up in a very religious household, and um, I think of it as mythology. And what would you know? What would it be like if a version of it was real? What would it? How would it manifest? It would be. Could it be? Funny and awkward, and and really dark, and and wait, this is could, could this actually be real? Can't be. These guys can't be real, can they? Um, and or are they just crazy? You know, or, or have they just believed it? Conspiracy theory. It's fun uh, dealing with the absurdity of what it would be like if it was real. You know, for whatever reason, it, it just. I mean, most people ask me about this proclivity for putting things in one space and this one, uh, you know, as much as any of the others or more so. Um, I just, it just doesn't even occur to me that that's an issue. I don't know why. I mean, I just did a TV show for Apple called Servant, you know, for four years. We never left the, the brownstone, you know, and, and, you know, there's ways to make it feel huge, you know. I guess for me when, you know, I've watched movies when I was a kid and saw movies like The Exorcist, which primarily, predominantly takes place in a girl's bedroom. Um, it felt like the biggest movie I'd ever seen because the subjects they were talking about were so large and because it was reduced down to something that I could relate to, a bedroom, a kid's bedroom, uh, it felt real. So I was, I was having a, a, a real vocabulary about something extraordinary. Mm -hmm. So you've been working a lot with Knight recently on Servant and then obviously this and what do you enjoy about working with him? Um, I've, first, I've always been a huge fan. I love his work. I think his, his way of kind of tapping into people's fears and and always surprising you um, is 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 really unique and yeah I just love being on set with him. he's just such an easy lovely guy and we have this over the years you develop this kind of shorthand I kind of know what he expects um, from me and, um, and likewise you know, his notes are always so perfectly kind of thought out and plus he kind of has this vision of the whole show in his head he storyboards everything so it's everything so specific and and uh, it's yeah, it's a really unique process, but it's it's great fun. It's weird the cavern kind of becomes another character. It's it's a device that I get. I think also going back to the TV show, it's something we do there as well. We're kind of it's this one place, and it's and it and it makes everything kind of amplifies all the drama because it's kind of it's claustrophobic and it's kind of uncomfortable to to be kind of in everyone's face. So it's it yeah, it really does add something, and it's and it, and interestingly, you can kind of it allows you to. Do, film chronologically so kind of all the scenes were played out kind of as they are in the script so it's it, it kind of gives it this real immersive kind of it feels like you're doing a play a lot of the time so it's that's really helpful